Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. Y'all, <laughs> do I have stories for you? Do I have multiple stories for you? Yes. If you haven't seen my last vlog, I talked about my gastritis diet and everything that's been going on with me and my health. I recently went to the doctor. Apparently, I was misdiagnosed. Like this whole time, I thought I had gastritis. So I had been taking multiple pills, multiple medicines to heal my gastritis and to heal my stomach. And the doctor from a couple days ago told me that I was not supposed to be taking that because I indeed do not have gastritis, which is what I knew in my mind that I didn't have because there's no way that I had gastritis because people who have that are people who eat a lot of spicy food, are people who drink a lot and you know like it's people who have definitely felt the heartburn and all the symptoms that come with gastritis which I never felt. I just felt this aching pain where my stomach was stretching. So if any of you guys know about this, let me know. I definitely do feel a lot better. I haven't had that aching pain in quite a while. So I believe the medicine did do some type of restructuring down there. I want to believe nurses and doctors and I do, but at this point me searching everywhere to find an answer is so, it can be so hopeless and so fr frustrating sometimes because you just want to get better and you just want to feel better and I know this is happening for a reason and I keep telling myself that it, that is happening for a reason it seems like the stomach is the root of the problem and it is because because in eastern medicine they believe that the gut is the second brain so it's very important and it's very vital so as I was going through the healing process my left rib like under my left rib I started getting these pains these pains were like were stabbing pains kind of like if there was a needle and just stabbing you back and forth and they're be for a couple minutes and then they'd go away and it would normally be after I ate so what I started doing is I started standing up while working or after I ate I went and walked around a little bit I went and washed the dishes I went to do something I did give my gut some healing by eating more liquids and eating more soft things which I still am eating like smoothies for example I'm drinking a smoothie right now and that has led me to lose a lot of weight and lose a lot of muscle and if you guys don't know I love working out and I love like you know like being active and that has literally Literally completely hindered me from doing anything other than walking it's funny because I feel like my gut is telling me that it's my gut so I should follow it um, so with that said I did have a big extensive talk with the doctor the other day and he did let me know that I should be taking probiotics and I have been taking probiotics for a while but they've always been on and off which might be one of the problems why I haven't fully restructured my gut or whatever it is. So I have been taking, it's been like three days or so that I've been taking this Renew Life Ultimate Flora Probiotic. I, this has been pretty good, not gonna lie. I have not felt a big change just because it's only been three days, but I will definitely update you guys on how I feel after that. Um, I do want to go to the grocery store today. And then three, I want to make sure I go and see if there's any type of dress or anything that I could wear because my birthday is in a week. I saw someone on TikTok talk about the expiration date on their products, like the products that they use, like makeup and stuff. And I realized I have a lot of expired makeup. If not, it should all be expired probably. Except for like my mascara and like my foundation and stuff like that. But everything else is probably expired. Like it really made me realize, wow, I have a lot of expired stuff there that I just don't use. And that's gross. So I want to make sure I clean out this drawer. It's a uh, very packed. show you guys some stuff okay some stuff that i got yesterday from dollar tree we've been really into doing puzzles here in this household so we decided to get a couple puzzles which are just a dollar this dolphin one and then we have this 500 one which is just like a little tropical 
scenery okay so the next thing is i decided to grab these rollers for my hair and see if i were to blow dry my hair a little bit see if it gave me more volume and i really want to mess with these i put one on yesterday and it looked ridiculous i got this word finds book for my mom because she loves these and i also got these really cool highlighters which who knew they had this like really cute stuff there then i got these really cute nail polishes i got three of them from la colors and then last thing I got was some hangers and I have I love these like non-slip hangers that are really velvety and soft and I have them in all white in my room but throughout the years they've turned yellow so I think black will be better and I think once I move out I will definitely buy more black ones okay so I got a little bit hungry so I'm gonna make some lunch before I start cleaning the whole house up so I decided to show you guys what I'm gonna be eating I'm gonna be making some tuna cakes and I'm gonna leave down below the link to the recipe that I received one thing that I do different is when I don't have all the ingredients I just kind of add random ingredients so for this one, I'm going to be adding some parsley um, and I just add a little bit with some onion and stuff like that. You guys will see how it comes out. It comes out really good. It's high protein if that matters to you and it's low carb if that matters to you. Okay, so I'm going to grab two tuna cans and then I'm going to make sure to open these and then put them in here and then drain it out in the sink. Okay, this is what I do is after I take out all of the tuna from the can and then I put it in the bowl, I make sure that I grab some napkins and I make sure to kind of pat dry the tuna because you want it to be dry so that everything sticks together and you're able to make the tuna patties. I have some salt, garlic powder, pepper, onion powder, olive oil, mustard, onion, parsley, and an egg or two, which makes around six to eight um, patties. And now I'm gonna chop up some onions and a little bit of parsley and then mix it all together. We have the mix all done. So now what we're gonna do is add a tablespoon of mustard. So we're gonna mix. Now we're gonna add some salt to taste, some garlic powder, and I like a little bit of onion powder. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this into patties and we're gonna put this on the pan. today is sunday and today we're gonna head to the farmer's market this morning i want to go ahead and see if i can get some gluten-free bread or something i have a list of things that the doctor recommended for me to get so i want to see if those are at the farmer's market and i wanted to show you guys what i am wearing my shorts is what i'm worried about because i like them but i don't like them kind of i look like an oompa loompa let me show you um i'm confused they look kind of too long and too baggy like my crotch is not all the way down here my crotch is like up here so there's some crotch space which i guess it's fine it's supposed to have these like things okay i completely changed into these pants that i got from forever 21 yesterday and they were also five bucks and they look really really nice and they make me look tall and these shoes from gap and the shirt from i think it's forever too I needed to change because I realized I couldn't find my other shorts and I also realized that my other shorts were really short. <laughs> So I want to show you guys what we ended up getting. We got two peaches slash nectarines. We also got... I should have brought my own bag. I completely forgot. We got this really good yerba mate um, tea. This squash for spaghetti squash. I want to see how that would taste. I've never tried it. This jalapeno cilantro hummus. This Moroccan olive bread, which sounds so good. It's like so well made. And then the last thing... Hey 
Hey y'all, I just wanted to stop by and close out this video. It's been kind of a long day of us running around, running errands and stuff like that. We're going to close out this video and I'm going to call it a night. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and push the notifications down below so you are notified of every time I post a video, whether it is a sit down video or a vlog. And don't forget to subscribe if you would like to join me in this journey. I will see you very soon. Goodbye.